Welcome up your alley and happy Labor Day to all you people out there. That's right, it's almost Labor Day weekend. Just this weekend coming up. Remember, drive safely, don't drink and drive, and just enjoy yourself all weekend long. We're expecting hot weather. They're talking about 90s all weekend long. Boy, we can't wait. And uh, no rain. Hasn't rained since like, uh, what's today's date? Hasn't rained since like the middle of July. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hasn't rained a bit. And welcome to Up Your Alley. This is Michigan's number one bowling show shot here live at the Silver Lanes. And it's just a fun time. We're about midway through our summer season and we've had all kinds of fun. Now we have, the show's gonna be a little different because it's a Labor Day weekend. We have a special guest that wants to bowl on this show, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, I'm gonna bowl on this show. I'm um, carrying about a 193 average now in my league. I'm doing real well and uh, coming up, I just bowled in the U.S. Open. Oh, it's golf. Uh, but I bowl over at Satellite. It's a nice bowling alley and I'm doing well. I I'm in the Pro-Am on Sunday. That's w with Jerry Riley. We're in the doubles bowling. It's a new thing we've just started. But like I said, about a 193 average. I've been bowling for about 20 years and it should be a whole lot of fun. Now, right now, I'd like to bring up a good friend of mine, Rick Brooks. Rick's our returning champion, and he's gonna bowl against me. Welcome back, Rick. Thank you. Got what do you think about bowling against me? Oh, I think it'd be fun. Now, I noticed you got the tough man haircut. Is that supposed to intimidate me? No. No? It's a summer haircut. Now, you practice on the lanes. How did they feel to you? Too oily. They just redid them, and they had to coat them with oil. So. They just refinished them. They're looking good. Now, I don't know if you can see, but the lanes are looking good. Now, I. I threw like seven strikes in a row just now in practice, so the lanes are working well with for me. I'm using the house ball Black Beauty. It's one of my favorite house balls, and uh, Rick's using a nice red ball. What kind of ball you got there? That's a Brunswick Edge. Now, what's is that? That's a urethane ball. Mm -hmm. and what kind of ball am I using? Plastic, hardcore. Is it a good ball or? Depends on how you throw. If you throw a hook, it's not very good. It'll just go straight, especially on these conditions. It's a typical straight ball. Uh huh. So, any advice I should probably use? Uh, just look at the pins and throw it. <laughs> Nothing. No. No. Your ball. How's it hook? I mean, it's probably skidding all over the place, being that it's your thing. Yeah, it breaks right at the end. Now we got to me mention because I'm bowling against Rick. This is only an exhibition, not a competition. Please, no wagering. And remember, this doesn't count for anything. Rick is a three-week champion. He's won three weeks before, and he will be coming back next week to face a new uh, person. And so we're just bowling today for a whole lot of fun. So you ready? Sure am. All right. Well, we'll be back with more up your alley right after this. like them and no one in the world has more to celebrate than I. I am the land of the lakes. I am Michigan. Yes, Michigan. Welcome back here to Up Your Alley, and uh, this is my chair, get all ready here. I just bought a new pair of shoes, uh, quality bowling shoes. You see, they say silver lanes on them. You go a long ways to find shoes that match the bowling alley. That's one of the things you have to do. And I'll uh, put these in eight and a half, if you look. They're nice suede, and uh, you can double. 
In fact, these are the same shoes that Dennis Quaid wore in Great Balls of Fire. And uh, Jerry Lee, Lee Lewis used to have a pair of shoes. When he came to Garden City that one time, uh, he wore shoes like this. Ah, they're pretty comfortable, too. Now, I don't know if you get a shot, but the lanes are all done. They're all shiny. And uh, it's going to be a good time. I can't wait. I'm bowling against Rick Brooks. He's not a real good bowler. I think I'll probably blow him away. Ah. Tie these babies up and we'll get on. Now I'm going first, right, Rick? Sure. Okay. Ah. Actually, some dude didn't show up and that's why we're doing this. Don't even think that it's like a holiday or something. We just made this up. Throw those over there. Rick, I gotta use your towel, buddy. Go ahead. The ball's a little bit dusty being that I kept it over there with all my other balls. Okay, all ready, and uh, here we go. This is the beginning of the show. It's really slippery up here. Why is it so slippery up here? You notice that? Yeah, they're really Thumbs up. What's the score over here, Jerry? Oh, he's just making boxes. <laughs> hey, Jerry, I knocked down five, buddy. I got five. Okay. I don't know if you can see it, but I got my name on here, PJD. Pretty young dude. <laughs> People are going, what do you mean young? You can spell young with a J. And an eight count for me. You get that? I got a strike, Jerry. You get that written down, buddy? That'll bring up Rick Brooks. And Rick starts out with a nine count. He's throwing at that ten pin. And uh, real good time here and up here, Ellie. Now, I'm done uh, putting the rosin on everything. He'll probably cross Ellie at this. He does, and he'll pick it up a spare there for Rick Brooks in the first frame. And uh, oh, it's. I'm just, I'm just, it's not my turn. I'm just doing what a lot of people do on the show. <laughs> That's, I wish I had like a granddaughter to talk to. And a nice shot, Brooklyn, and a three there. He knocks down. I knocked down seven. I'll be throwing at the one, three, six combination. These Rick's parents or something? Sister. My sister. She was pregnant last time. Man, a nine count there. Now it's just, you always have to do this. People always do that in the show. Is this your ball too, Rick? This Thunderbolt core? Oh. It doesn't fit me, I can't use it. God, this is grease. And uh, what'd I get there, Jerry? Three. What'd I get? Three. Three count? I'll be throwing at seven pins. Yeah. How should I go about this, anyways? Throw it at the second arrow. Thanks, Jer. You never won on the show, buddy. A bucket there. Do you see that? What am I looking at there? What do I got? A six. Fingers are stuck in the ball. <laughs> Quality equipment. Ugh. Come on. 
What the heck is that kind of stuff anyways? I'm supposed to be sitting back here drinking a beer. That's what people do on the show. How do you kill time in between? I've never noticed like what the people do. All I've ever done is talk on the show. I don't know what you're... And a nine count there in the third frame. It's a good ball too. So a 23 in the third frame for me. That'll bring up Rick Brooks. And a strike there for Rick. Yeah, that's his name. Now I'm getting a 17 pin handicap. Rick doesn't know it yet. And an eight count there for Rick Brooks, the bowler from, uh, I don't know, where are you from? Garden City. Yeah. Quiet, Brian. Then you're not supposed to be talking to me. I'm going to file a grievance against you, buddy. Whew. Spare there. And this is getting real embarrassing. <laughs> real embarrassing. It's tough to do. I throw two balls now? Oh, the host isn't even there. I, I don't know how people do this. They talk about the lights being there and stuff. I don't know what, what the problem is. I mean, I never seem to have any. I mean, there I throw the lights around, no problem. Might strike ball on the Brooklyn side. Fingers are once again stuck in the ball. And uh, Nothing. Look at that. Nothing. Now what's, should I put rosin on my hand now? Don't make the ball stick. Don't make it stick? Should I put it on my shoes so I stick to the floor? Will it work? Putting rosin. A lot, a lot of what like Mike Henneman, Henneman does like in ball games. Did you guys hear in the All-Star game, Mike Henneman? He came in, he was, wasn't was supposed to start, he didn't, but came in in the sixth inning. And uh, the American League won 14 to six. <laughs> come on, come on, get in there. It's so slippery up there. I need like suction cups. What? I need, it's real slippery, folks. Check this one out. Now you're supposed to touch pinkies like this. Oz did it. <laughs> How can Oz do that and I can't? I'm getting real nervous. Hey, Rick. Hey, what do I owe you? You need 20 bucks. 20 bucks? I don't think I got it. I'll throw another one for a dollar. Dollar? You guys didn't hear that, did you? <laughs> oh my god. A lucky shot. There's a jackpot. There's a jackpot. Anybody that bowls? 37 in the fifth frame wins the jackpot. Oh my god!
and an eight count there. Jerry, let me confirm, is that a 37 in the fifth frame? Yes, what? I get the jackpot, I think. Hey, buddy, sit down. You're bowling too good. I'm dogging it. You see, I'm sandbagging, so the average is low. Come on, come on. You lucky guy, you. Oh, it's my, I, I don't know. I'm doing what people do on the show. They forget. Excuse me, it's like real slippery up here. God. I feel like Brian Orser up here. Okay, I feel like Scott Hamilton, Dorothy Hamill. I don't know. Uh, Rodnina and Zaitsev. What kind of pin count is that anyways? Actually, what we're doing is we're demonstrating these are the new urethane lanes. First time they've ever been used. Good ones. What are you calling about, Jerry? I'm just on the show to get a shirt. Would you be quiet? <laughs> Jerry, go home and get your wife. This pretending the ball's Jim Potvin's head. Oh my God. And he screwed me over that time too. Should have knocked down all the pins. Is it my turn again? Yep. It's pretty close. I think I'm gonna get a strike in the seventh frame, Jerry. Hang on, buddy. Uh, fuck. Strike ball. I got the nerve to go down there and kick that pin down. Now I know how people feel on this show. We've done 150 of these shows. This is a stupid show. <laughs> should I cross alley at this? Yeah, I probably should. <sighs> hey. Where's Mark? Shut up, Jerry. <laughs> And Rick Brooks will come up here in the seventh frame. Dump it, dump it! <laughs> what kind of look was that, Rick? You're not using my ball. You're using Bruce's ball? Think, think that's kind of strange? Maybe not. Nice shoes, Rick. I thought you were a bowler. Can't even afford to buy your own shoes. Dump it, dump it. Come on, Come on hit the pocket. I know you bowled before I did. Bowled on some stupid TV show. Can I come back, Jerry? If I strike out, no problem. No problem. I was thinking to myself, you know, Kev, you're a thousand this year with predictions. Maybe predict on how you'll come out, like how many pins you'll beat Brooks by. Not a chance. <laughs> is it? It is my turn. I'm not bowling out here, am I? No. There's the scoreboard up there. It's your turn. Seventh frame. I got the five hard ones. 
five bucks on the outcome of the game? What do you think I'm gonna beat you? It would have been a wise bet, son. Listen to Jerry, Rick. He had a lot of hot dogs at that community festival. <laughs> Should have seen Jerry there. If you're into talking to a guy with his mouth open while he's eating, Jerry's not the guy, but the guy sitting next to him was. Now, in case of a tie, we'll bowl the tenth frame over. I doubt if we'll have to. What the? <laughs> Almost said it. I don't believe this. You know, a garden lane's already got that. I should be sitting right now. Is the next bowler here yet? Get over there! I'll come back, I know it. Shut up, Jerry. <laughs> You know, Jerry, I was going to buy you that oil painting of Kenny Rogers. I kind of doubt it now, bud. I need my brother keeping score. Jerry won, or his wife won when Jerry was keeping score. We're talking nepotism there. Then Philip Tamarolio won because his uncle was keeping score. We'll call that nepotism there. You bum. I'll meet you outside, man. It's the first time I ever lost, other than when I ran for the governor of Michigan and some chump beat me there. Only reason I was doing it was to get that joint up on Mackinac Island thinking I could have a big party. They would have given me the Grand Hotel if I'd have won. Hey, Jerry, why don't you try writing on something else? The pen might work in another area. Could be, could be a scoreboard malfunction. You got it? Good game, Rick. Why don't you leave that? I know I could have knocked that one down. I'm sweating like crazy. I'm doing, this is my Kevin Mankey impression now. This really, this is really no good. What are my odds now, Jerry? Real good. Shut up. Come on, come on, I got it. What the? I know if it wasn't so slippery, I'd probably won. It's these shoes. It's because you told me to put rosin on my shoes. If I pick this up, I get another ball. Right? And we'll check out the scores and see who won this thing. Setting it up and uh, 
150 to 154. No, I won this, Jerry. I told you to put down 200. Rick Brooks won. Do you believe that? You made the spirit won. What, Jerry? <laughs> Jerry says I should have made my one. spares. You would have made your spare, you don't want. If I'd have made my Jerry, look over there and laugh. <laughs> you know, <laughs> this guy's gotta go. <laughs> and you see, but I'm sweating this. I did this just for Kevin Mankey. It's the Kevin Mankey impression. <laughs> And come back to come up here to the Silver Lanes, and I'll cook you a pizza or something later. Possibly buy you a drink. We'll be back with more up your alley, and we're gonna get rid of Rick Brooks right after this. We'll see you. This really sucks. <laughs> Chimpanzees. For centuries, we've been trying to make them act like us. But now we're finding out that chimpanzees act even more like us when we allow them to act like themselves. That's why the Detroit Zoo is now building what will be the world's finest natural habitat chimpanzee exhibit. Four acres of authentic forest where you can watch and study chimps as they actually live in their natural environment. Four acres that will help our zoo stand out as one of the best anywhere. And your donations can help. Just send whatever you can afford even if it's only a dollar or two, to Chimps, P.O. Box 1989, Royal Oak, Michigan, 48068. Because together, we can build the chimpanzees the kind of home they can be proud of when their relatives come to visit. Welcome back here to Up Your Alley. It's the end of the show, and as you've seen, it was a doozy. I almost came out and won this one, no oh boy, but just didn't happen. And uh, we'll bring Rick up here right now. We'll talk about the game and see how it went. Rick, you won. Congratulations. You were lucky, buddy. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to have a rematch next Labor Day, possibly. Yeah. Uh, you did a nice job. Now, how were the lanes working for you? Uh, they were working a lot better than when I practiced. Why don't you ask me the same question? How were the lanes for you? Uh, you know, I was out there and I was bowling and stuff, and I just couldn't, I, I don't know if you see, but there's like 12 boards over I was trying to throw at. Yeah. And it's just not right. It's just, I, I think it's a little bit off maybe by a millimeter or something. Mm -hmm. And I just, I couldn't do it. So, it might have been the ball too. I was using the wrong ball. The ball I usually use here is taken. And that's, so I had to use this one. And uh, I usually bust it out of locker 31 there. And uh, I just, it didn't work. So. Other than that, I like it. The air conditioning might have shook me, but it's nice, it's cool in here, and we're having a good time, right? Yeah. Now, you're going to come back next week and bowl against somebody if the guy shows up. Uh, anything you want to say to the people at home? No. <laughs> now, you're an uncle now, right? Yeah. Are we going to get a shot of the baby? Is that it? Or did you want to bring the baby up here? Come on. I have my mom bring her up here. That's my little niece, Stephanie. Here comes your ma. Just, can we get a shot of the baby? Can we get a shot of it's Rick's baby. Now, when was the baby born, Rick? It was, uh, what is it, 29th? 29th of June. There's a shot of it right there. It's 29th of June. It's Stephanie. Stephanie's the baby's name? Mm hmm Looks like she likes the bright lights. Maybe someday she'll ball on the show. Yeah. Bowl against her uncle. No, she'll probably beat me. I'll be old by then. That's a good possibility. Well, congratulations on being an uncle. We'll see you next sure. week. Sure will. Thanks, Rick. Rick Brooks, a good friend of ours here at Up Your Alley. Now, this show I forgot to say, but it's being brought to you through a grant from the Garden City Cable Commission. And if you two would like to bring a, bring a, get a show together of your own, uh, just contact the Cable Commission through Garden City City Hall. And uh, we'd be more than happy to help you give, uh, I don't know, something like they'll put a show in the air for you or something. And uh, so, I don't know, we're, we're, we're closing up. I want to thank Keith there and Brian. What do you want, Jerry? You know, because you lost the game, you are entitled to a... Kevin Creamer's Up the Alley t-shirt. Thanks. And uh, <laughs> God, that is a nice shirt. Check this out. Anybody ever seen this before? What? Show you. <laughs> and no, on the back, and the back is 
the uh, Garden City Olympic Sports uh, printed up the shirts. Yeah. And right over here on Ford Road in Garden City. And if you'd like to have one of these shirts, just sign up for Up Your Alley Show. Give them the phone number. And the phone number to the uh, to Garden State Olympic is 522-4380. And, and that's me on the shirt, right? That's Kevin right there on the shirt holding the bowling pin. It says Silver Lanes. Well, thanks, Jer. I'm going to cherish this moment, buddy. <laughs> Jerry Riley, ladies and gentlemen, the scorekeeper up here. Give him a big round of applause at home. There's no crowd here. Thank you. That's plenty. Jerry doesn't need any more than me. And uh, it's a nice T-shirt. We'd like to thank everybody and uh, thank Bruce here at the Bowling Alley. Thanks to the people of Silver Lanes and everybody. And we're just happy to get this one on the air. Once again, our score, Rick bowled 150. I bowled 182. Good night from the Silver Lanes. I won it, baby. Thank you.